Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are in Bluffside Crossing, and I see we have about a little under 400 of you here. So thank you so much for joining me. I know it's late uh, and uh, for, for some of you, and it's uh, certainly short notice, but but uh, I, I'm really happy to be here. So thank you so much. Uh, so what I thought we would do today... <laughs> So I turned on disasters and uh, we already have one <laughs> right back here. Sorry, I was not showing you that. <laughs> Let's see, I need to make some mods. So if I see Frag in here, I will make him a mod. He should actually say something. <laughs> That'll help. So, I uh, already had my first glitch, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to roll with it. Hopefully, the audio is good. Um, I, I uh, spent a little bit of extra time trying to make sure that everything was going to go perfect today. So, um, that includes going through this build and going through the entire mod list and trying to get this... Uh, completely in order a whole shane ramsey thank you so much <laughs> do we call it bluff side crossing or fireside crossing i think tonight fireside crossing so uh, i went through a couple of things that i did i i replaced all of the uh all of the roads so why don't we just pop in real quick into the mod list so i will pop into here and i went through every single mod to make sure that things were perfect. Um, so the, the the big thing is the road replacement, like I mentioned. I had uh, Network Extensions 2 in here, and that is a problem. So I had to go through, I used Bob, and subscribe to the Network Extension Roads, and it automatically replaces everything. So if we take a look, and see that everything is looking good. And one of the things that I know I've mentioned in Discord is that there were issues with my final build, getting that to load. I spent about two hours and uh, it uh, I was able to get it working. So we're in a good place. Nick Collins, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm happy to be back in Bluffside Crossing too. It's uh, It's been a while. So one of the things, if you load up an old build that you'll notice, or at least that I noticed, is that we just had an update of Touch It. And when I load it in, the D button was actually turn buildings off. <laughs> so I came in and there were no buildings. And I was like, I guess I guess uh, this, this isn't gonna work. Uh, so if you are loading into a save today, know that touch it's being updated. And if you reset the buttons, one of the default buttons is to have all your buildings off. So, uh, but everything is looking good. It's working good. Uh, so a little update from the last stream. So if you were here in the last stream, you will know that uh, my computer actually turned off and blew up in the middle of it. I had to change my case. My AIO had died and uh, my temps were insane. So why don't we take a look at what I'm rolling with right now? So right now we're looking okay. Uh, we, let's see, system. We take a look. Temps are good. Temps are, temps are good. Everything's fine. <laughs> so I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. So. Anyway, uh, today I just wanted to take an opportunity. We're going to go through the build, fix some things up. We've got new mods now, and then chat with all of you. Uh, I like to I like to interact with all of you. I know that recently it's been a little bit less since I've been working on the DLC videos with Paradox. Um, so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a, a fun time. So it can't really get hit by a tsunami. Actually, it can. So if we come out here, I think right here it might be able to. This is our, our little fishing village. And uh, Mulligan actually asked me to asked me to, to, to work on this. So this is uh, this was one of the first things that I, I spoke with him about. So very cool. One of the things that I'm really excited to do. So we get go and do our unified UI. I really want to look at slopes because I think that slopes are just a mess here. Thank you, Starbucks, for subscribing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I did get a CPU upgrade. I actually got a, a CPU for Christmas, which was a an unexpected Christmas present, but one that I was very happy about. So, let's see, Meteor? We'll see. 
Andrew, what mods do I use to rebuild so quickly when I change zones? Uh, so I don't use any mods for that. I actually have multiple Windows, multiple Windows accounts. And uh, so I'm constantly switching between them. So right now, this is my City Tips account. And one of the reasons why I loaded it up on this account and wanted to stream today is because I am going to be working on a City Tips episode for this coming week. There's going to be a bigger gap in between tutorial than normal. And uh, the reason for that is the next tutorial we're going to work on uh, the airports DLC. So uh, what's Discord? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, there's Frag. All right, let me make you a mod. I think I, 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 yeah, Frag Proof is now a moderator for the channel. Good. All right. So now I'm just going to go through here and I have some steep slopes through here. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's not a dramatic fix over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this isn't bad. Now, I know that there are some spots that are going to be just atrocious through here. I mean, even these bridges. like So, how much CPU? Uh, I have a, um, a 5700 now. So, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit better than it was before. Um, so I originally started this build on a Dell XPS two and one with a Lenovo graphics dock plugged into it. And, it, you know, my, I was limited by that. So at this point, it, everything's buttery smooth. It feels really good. Um, it, this is weird. <laughs> you know, one of the reasons that I stopped bluff side crossing is my computer just couldn't handle it anymore. Uh, one trick jester been watching bluff side, uh, been watching since bluff side crossing. Happy to see the city get some love, love your content. Just keeps getting better. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Cashman, hello. So there's a lot of Discord folks in here. I'm really excited about that. And it's it's not surprising. Discord is just, it, it has been growing and growing and growing. 15.8%. We're going to switch song. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. I had this, this overlay that I thought you were all going to be able to see. And it's not working. I might, uh, I might restart this app to see if I can get it working. There we go. Now we've got the overlay for the music. Alien, I didn't forget you. I didn't forget you. How could I? <laughs> Slopes are fine. Everyone enjoys a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> Especially at Bluffside Crossing. And this isn't even the worst spot. So this is not good. It's, it's getting better the more that we do. And I'm wondering... How bad is it if I go on the bridge? Not, not too bad. I can, I can, I can do that from the bridge. But let's, let's go. I, I'm not sure how far I can push this. Seven, all the way down. It just, it just really smooth things out. Eights. That's looking good. This is, this is a lot better. This is really satisfying for me. So I hope it is for you guys. Because this is one of the things about the build that has always bugged me. Uh, there were just so many small things that were absolutely uh, just wrong. I mean, part of it was a lack of knowledge of the mods. No music for you. I can I can turn it up a little bit. We'll see if that helps. Yes, Discord is awesome. There is music. No music. We're back to music. I'll turn. I'll keep turning it up. <laughs> Um, will you update your DLC tier list? I've been thinking about that. Uh, and old intro. No. <laughs> All right. Glad the audio is good. Thank you, DJ. I, I appreciate that. Uh, will someone drop a link to Discord? Uh, it is, I will do that right now. It is discord.gg slash city planner plays. There you go. And it's not a link because I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't make it a hyperlink. So, one of the other nice things that we're going to be able to do now is come into here and square things up and just, we're not going to get extreme with, you know, lane, lane marking and, and whatnot. Although once you start doing this stuff, like it's, it's really tough to just not make everything right, <laughs> but it's just the small stuff that, that is, is really, really satisfying. Music is hearable. Comrade, you're a new YouTube member. Thank you. Um, so Adriana wants to know where I got my music from, uh, where I get it from. I get it from Epidemic Sounds. 
Uh, so I started out kind of, I, I picked up music from uh, Lakey Inspired's Patre Patreon and kind of wherever I could get it. And I, I just, I was getting copyright struck so often that it just was no longer worth it to keep to keep going and trying to find music that way. So yeah, it was it was it was unfortunate because I liked a lot of the music I was using, but you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. DJ, I tended to add people. Yeah, yeah, you know, the music is is the music, yeah. And there is a there is a slight stream delay so what i'm seeing is just a couple of seconds ahead of you so i apologize for that uh there's n i maybe there's a way i could fix that uh, the last time i i think i tried to set the stream to uh low latency and it completely messed things up so i will avoid doing that today <laughs> you know hopefully we can get something that is at least viewable for the most part for everybody we will see So let's see, are there any mods for the console version? No, and that's not going to change. It's really a PlayStation and a, and, a, and a Microsoft limitation there. They will not allow it. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. Uh, S, uh, yes, I am. S-X-M-P-L-Y Alpine. Simply Alpine? Is that what it is? Uh, quick question, do you have a mod list? I have many. Also, keep up the great work in the videos. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Bluffside Crossing, I actually had to load up that old mod list. So if you look for my uh, my collections in the store, there's actually two of them that are in the top of the collection list, and you can find a link to my to, to my my workshop collections there. Canuck Errant, the only thing more satisfying than lane markings is lining up the lanes when you add merge lane ramps. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's true. You know, and that is one of the things. It is nice to go in here and just, you know, add a couple. And I've gotten a lot better at it. I was pretty bad uh, for quite some time. But you do it long enough and it, it, it kind of just becomes second nature. The, the one thing that is not second nature to me still is fills. So just coming through here. And then I, I know that you, I have well documented struggles with the way to put the chevrons. <laughs> so, and that's, that's something, uh, to, uh, is this right or wrong? The chevrons, these, I need help. <laughs> if I in, invert it, that must be wrong. I feel like I'm always wrong about that, but. Uh, am I ever gonna collab with Biffa? Uh, maybe, Biffa and I talk often. Um, Biffa's a great guy, he's, I mean, I, I don't think my channel would be what it is without Biffa's help. Um, and his shout out was was really helpful. Um, obviously, the, the YouTube creator of the week was really helpful too. Um, but I, I would I would absolutely welcome the opportunity to collab with Biffa. He's a great guy. So um, yeah, at some point you never know. Uh, let's see. Turn this. Um, hey, Phil, made my night seeing you tonight. Uh, thank you, Randy. That means a lot. And DJ says to join us in Discord, and I agree. Um, they're backwards. All right, that's what I was. That's the comment I was waiting for. <laughs> so let's see fillers, and we will invert this. All right. So a lot of people will comment about my my uh, my highway work, and uh, you know I, I, I'm not a highway engineer, so I appreciate every bit of feedback that I can get. Frag proof. Are they still are they still backwards? Yes, nostalgia. And we can we can take a look at, you know, like Home Depot. Actually, I still enjoy this build looking back at it. It's it's if I would have had the abilities that I have now and the computer that I have now, I don't think I would have ended it when I did. Chevron's are the wrong way now. Invert the right, the left is good. Okay. So that means that I when I inverted both, they were wrong. <laughs> Canuck Aaron, I do need the MUTCD link for Chevron's. <laughs> uh, why, do, why, do, why did I remove City Builders from the name? Uh, mainly because it was really long and unwieldy. You know, truthfully, when I made the name, when I made the name and the logo and everything on the channel, the channel art, uh, I spent, uh, I will say, Five minutes thinking of the name and two minutes making the logo and uh i just it, it was a it was a, a quick thing and 
I figured if I don't do it now, if you don't get started, you're, you're never going to. So I just I, I gave it a shot. Uh, why am I streaming this late? Uh, mainly because this is when my kids are asleep. <laughs> so otherwise, um, even if I were to to put a sign on my door and beg my children not to not to to disturb me, they would. <laughs> Uh, did I see Yumble's discussion about time traffic lights versus traffic circles? I did. It was a very good video. Skinny B, thank you so much for being a member. Good to catch me live. Thank you so much, and uh, happy to uh, happy to provide the videos. So, I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of landmarking here. This is one of those spots that it hasn't had enough love. So it's, it's pretty simple stuff, but the impact that it has. These are the kinds of things that, you know, I really wish I could have done. Uh, let me know if I need a new logo. I will, I will, uh, I might take you up on that at some point, Tyler. <laughs> this new logo, uh, so I had, I had that CPP logo that everyone hated. Um, and I ended up just making something myself again in about five minutes. So the new logo is quick. I like it a lot more. Um. You know, I, I gave it more thought and, um, you know, so I think it's better. Uh, Chris asks if YouTube is my full-time job. It is not. I'm still a planner. I still go to work nine to five. That's another reason why I don't stream during the day. Um, so, you know, all of the, all of the support that I've had on the channel has been really helpful because it's allowed me to hire an editor, which has helped me free up time. And that's one of the reasons I've been able to pretty consistently put out that third video a week. So it's been, it's been very helpful. Um, what is my overall impressions of the airport DLC? I love it. I think it's great. Um, I'm not going to talk a heck of a lot about the airport's DLC. It's not enabled on my machine right now. <laughs> so, uh, Angela asked if I've ever considered making a city that isn't American. Yeah, I have. Um, we'll see at some point. I, I, I may. The thing is, I just, you know, at a certain point, you got to know your strengths and weaknesses. And I'm not sure that I would do justice to a city like that. So I, if, if I do... A, you know European or Asian or Middle Eastern build whoa that is bad <laughs> if I do that it's probably not gonna be a long-term series just just being reasonable about it and that's that's really really high so we're gonna need to do something about that um, can't put the URL in super chat so check chat all right I will do that thank you so much Canuck Aaron and I will I will check that out in a minute. So I'm gonna lower this a bit to try to make this a little bit better. Let's see. The highway's a little high here. Everything's a little messed up. <laughs> so the other thing that I thought might be kind of fun to do tonight would be to have some tours on different modes of transportation within the community. So, later on in the stream, we might do a little bit of that as well. Yeah, and I think that I might have ruined this. <laughs> Just made it worse. But, you know, it happens. Let me see if I can... can I see if I can object height over here. Oh, nope. Making it worse. Let's do a couple of things. So, I'm going to come through here. My slopes are pretty bad. Yeah, and it's it's making everything a little bit worse. And undo it is a mod that clearly didn't make it into my collection because I cannot undo anything. Uh, Simply Alpine, how many hours do you have in on City Skylines? Ah, uh, I am not a hundred percent sure. Um, over four thousand. I had more, or I, I had a better handle on it before I started using. Uh, multiple accounts using multiple accounts is really helpful when you're trying to do something like I'm doing here hopping in and out of multiple builds but it completely messes up your playtime so that that's you know one drawback of doing that unfortunately it's gonna pop through here and lower some of this uh, let's see you'd love to see me do a European build Nick uh, yeah uh, at some point I might um, I'm thinking after tutorial is done, we are going to have uh, some mini series, you know, five to ten episode arcs, where uh, I just kind of experiment a bit. Maybe, maybe go through and uh, 
Yeah, control Z. Is it, it, let's see if it works in here. Yeah, it's going to work in here, but I had the undo it mod. And as I was going through the collection, I think at one point it was recommended that I take it out for whatever reason. And I gave it a shot. And, and uh, as a result, I can't use it for anything else, which stinks a bit. But, you know, that's to be expected when, uh, when you're reviving an old build that you, you have some struggles with things like that. So this got really unwieldy. I'm going to manually handle a lot of this and then go through and try to fix it afterwards. And then I will return to the chat. Um, it just really popped up high there. Truthfully, this, this segment, as with this one, should probably be ground level. So I'm going to upgrade those as well. So let's pop in here. And I will set that to ground level and upgrade this. Yeah, that to me is a lot more rational. And the main reason for that is just the bridges, the spans are really expensive and uh, you're not going to you're not going to do that if you don't need to. Uh, do I see any do I foresee any endpoint to Verde Beach and start in a new city? I am going to let Verde Beach go until uh, either my computer can't handle it or I use up all the land. Um, but I don't have an end in, in sight right now. Uh, so Unless, you know, there's a there's a large outcry for a new city. I know that, uh, you know, if I were just kind of mining for views or something, I would start a new city. Uh, they, they always do really well. Uh, but I like that I, I have a connection to Verde Beach at this point, And I, 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 that's something that means a lot to me. It makes it easier and more fun to build in the city. And truthfully, I think that most people when they're when they're playing, they build a city for a long time, unless something really catastrophic fails with the city. So uh, for me, it, it makes a ton of sense to to keep it, to keep it going. How do you guys feel about that? Though? Let me know in the in the chat. Do you do you like that? Uh, do you like it uh, that I'm keeping it going, or or would you like a new city? Uh, Nick Collins, loving tutorial, but honestly, living for Clearwater County. Thank you so much. Yeah, Clearwater definitely takes a little bit more time. Um, but I, I, it's, it's been such a fun build for me. Uh, Carmen would live in Verde Beach if it weren't for all the fires. And speaking of fires, <laughs> we should check and see what happened over here. It all burnt down, but looks like everything's okay. And interestingly, so one of the things I've been curious about is, is all the trees in here. Enjoyed watching the damn episode. Uh, it looked frustrating, but was entertaining. Poor residents. <laughs> so I'm I'm always pretty bad about dams. <laughs> so um, why don't I while I'm while I'm in chat, why don't we ride around in transit a little bit, and I will look at the chat because it's really blowing up, and I am. Uh... Let's see how things are going. One of the things I missed putting in the list was speed slider, which is really helpful when you want to do stuff like this in real time, because this can really slow down. Um, so we're currently in the tram system, uh, which I believe goes up the side of the hill <laughs> and runs over this guy. <laughs> uh, Verde Beach is special. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, save Verde. It's it's going to go. You know, so the, the, this is It's interesting. There's a, there's a Verde Beach and a Clearwater County rivalry. Maybe I should put up a poll and and see uh, who which build everyone likes more. Uh, am I ever planning on doing a face reveal? Uh, not anytime soon. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with my job, um, I don't want my day-to-day -day in my work life to become discussions about my YouTube channel. So at some point, you know, if it, if it happens, it happens. And uh, if, it, if it's out, then I don't really care at that point. But uh, right now, everything's, everything's fine. Yeah, this needs to be smooth. This is terrible. <laughs> Uh, what's my favorite transit uh, in, in terms of mode of transit? I mean, I, I don't think it would be disingenuous for me to say that trains weren't my favorite. Uh, we don't, you know, we don't have any near me. Um, uh, we have it's it's a the, the city of Columbus, a little ways down the road from me, actually has Amtrak. Working on getting it in, in Madison, uh, and you know, someday maybe that'll be a thing. It was almost a thing ten years ago. We had high, uh, plans and approved funding for high-speed rail, but it was revoked, unfortunately. Um, how old am I? I'm 35. 
So I've been a, I've been a planner for about a decade now. And uh, yeah, mid thirties. I have to find myself looking more uh, often see if I missed a video release and it's been only one day. Phil has made me a ded dedicated to his videos. Thank you so much, Chad. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. It's a tough one. Both are good, Skinny V. Uh, do I watch other urban planning channels? I, I do. I do. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate I appreciate them. I find myself, you know, there's the channels on YouTube, you know, the usual suspects, um, City Beautiful, you know, um, Not Just Bikes. And I watch those, but I also watch a lot of, it's the, uh, the Ohio planning division webcast series. They, they talk about, I mean, the, the videos are dry. Their webinars meant for planners, you know, so it's not, not the most exciting, um, presentation style, but the information is so good. It's so good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, planner since 25. Uh, five, yeah, actually 20, 24 is I think when I got my first planning job. Before that, here's a cup of coffee from Weston, Wisconsin. Thank you, William. Uh, if when it does, I hope uh, Verde Beach replacement will be mostly vanilla. Yeah, then the replacement for Verde Beach is going to be mostly vanilla with some quality of life mods. Um, you know, I'd love to have move it, but not as something I rely on, but as as something that uh, if I get stuck, I can I can use it. Um, same thing with, you know, I, I, I guess I wouldn't mind seeing node controller in there. Um, but that, that's probably the extent of it. Uh, the real Wego, thank you so much for your support. Has city skylines ever influenced you in real life? Um, you know, I don't know that it's influenced me, so except that it's, it's made me think more about the urban environment. And, uh, I think it can be good to, to, to look at the cities that you build and think about what that would actually feel like in reality. So, uh, we see that there's some stuff here that's not reasonable. So, um, and I want to get back to, to the, the comment from Weston. So, uh, I have deep roots to that area. So, uh, thank you, William. Wassa is a wonderful city. Uh, that's where I spent Christmas. So, <laughs> uh, am I, ex uh, let's see, am I excited for the upcoming packs? I am. I am. Uh, I, I've seen them. They're good. Uh, good morning in the UK. Good morning, Oliver. Uh, let's see. Not a, fa a fan of modless. Yeah, it's... You know, it, I I think I've gotten better at the game because I played, it, played Verde Beach without mods. I feel like I understand the base game better than I ever did before. Um, you know, because I was using mods as a way to get past... Um, some of the struggles I was having in the game, and that's not necessarily the most beneficial. So, uh, Daniel asks, could I ever be a full-time YouTuber or would I consider it? I consider it. I mean, the, the, the thing is, I, I don't want to be too far removed from my career. I spent a lot of time uh, working towards becoming a planner. And, you know, if I get too far away from it, I'm not sure that I would uh, be able to break back into the field. And I don't look at, I mean, YouTube is excellent, but as as quickly as as it as you know viewership is granted, it could go away. And then uh, I've got to think about my family. Can I still support them? Uh, is the console version worth playing? I think so. Uh, you know, I've played it. If you if that is the way that you have to play it, um, then I would say absolutely. And in fact, the experience can be better and more predictable than if you have a you know a fairly weak machine so i would say yeah go for it tanner thank you so much for the support uh lost time or long time watcher first time caller i uh, just found the game last year and found your channel shortly after i can get lost in the game for days at a time and find myself equally lost in your channel thank you so much thank you for the kind words and this is certainly the kind of game that you can get lost in that's one of the things i love about it uh where are most of my viewers from that's a good question uh most of the viewers uh well so it's there, there is no majority so it is uh i don't want to say it's like 40 percent um us i i've, I've dropped it into, into into discord a couple times uh it's it's a very international audience hayward all right i got i got family up north too <laughs> uh minor welcome uh what is my favorite series uh do, well uh, do you do you mean city skyline series weston uh, let's see. Daniel says that he works for planning 
as well in New Zealand. Some of the things from your video help me understand things. Keep it the way. Thank you so much. That's great to that's great to hear. Uh, Angela says, any tips for someone currently studying urban planning at a university? Yes, enjoy it. Um, make sure that when you have the opportunity to take electives, you are doing things that you you're interested in, but maybe not 100% sure if you want to go in that direction. Uh, like for me, for instance, I took classes in urban design, um, totally outside of anything I thought I would do. I took I took civil engineering courses uh, just to see if transportation was the route I wanted to go in. Um, I just did a little bit of everything. I had a little bit more freedom uh, because I uh, I was an undergrad ma uh, planning major as well, so. Yeah, it was, it was uh, basically enjoy it. And number one thing, get an internship if you can. It'll help you get a job. Number one thing. Uh, let's see. I saw a comment about, I love the I love the Wasa Stevens Point area. Have I seen the cool new development replacing the mall in downtown? Yeah, yeah, it's it's really neat looking. I, everything they've done with the riverfront is really, really impressive. Um, and, uh, you know, the mall, I spent my time as a kid walking from, uh, so I, I lived as a kid near Marathon Park, and I would walk up Stewart Avenue, and walk to the mall all the time. My mom lived there, so um, that was, that was, that was, I lived on, on Garfield, if that, if that means anything to any, any of the WASA viewers. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was, that was my, my spot. And uh, I went to Stevens Point for undergrad, so very familiar with Stevens Point. Great place. Uh, let's see... Get more comments. Ashland, Wisconsin. One of my best friends is from Ashland. Beautiful, beautiful place. That's one of the reasons why Ashland is in Clearwater County. <laughs> so I'm going to take a, a little break because I generally say that when I stream, I like to have a, a, a beer with you all. And I want to I want to talk about with the one I'm having tonight. It is a seasonal capital brewery, uh, Winter Skull. It's a, a Vienna style lager. So if you're having a drink, let me know what you're having. I know that for some of you, it is eight in the morning or noon, and maybe you're not having it, but that's okay. I am, I'm having a beer. Uh, am I AICP? Yes, I am. Zoning attorney in Chicago. Thank you so much. That is, that is, uh, I wonder if we've ever interacted. <laughs> uh, let's smash that like button. I appreciate that, Steven. All right, we can't continue to look at this line without fixing that mess that we just saw. I'm curious at what the slopes would look like and how bad it's going to be. And of course, without undo it, I'm really playing with fire. <laughs> 23. Ooh, that is steep. Let's uh, let's just keep going. <laughs> 18 still. That's I don't know are these. These uh, these vehicles are not getting up the hill. They're getting down, and it's a fast ride. Oh, <laughs> that was a, that was a fun ride there. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way up. We'll see what what, what we get. We still got some 18s in there. So the only way to make this reasonable is to do that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the bike path looks brutal. We're gonna fix that. We can't we can't leave that. We're we are not living in reality right now. We are living in, in fun times land. And uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have some fun. So let's make this a little bit bigger. So I could probably, I wonder if it makes the most sense. If I come up here and I select the slope up here, make this a bit bigger. And I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, yeah, it's working all right. It's not great. So, and I let off. <laughs> so, come up here and uh, I'm just going to try to slope the terrain straight up here. There we go. There we go. Almost there. So, it's not perfect. But that got us quite a long ways towards our goal. Uh, our power lines are kind of messing things up. Now, I'm going to pause it for just a second and fix this uh, let's see almost there and this is this connected it's connected that power line is it's good for redundancy but but that's about it so i'm gonna i'll leave it disconnected and <laughs> now we have this crazy cliff here fun times land is my favorite place <laughs> 
Uh, no beer, but you're taking advantage of the recreation use policy. <laughs> uh, which is basically legal everywhere except for Wisconsin, it, it feels like. Um, what a fun ride that would be, yes. Let, what, let, let's see. It's still, it's still pretty rough in some places. So we'd probably have to feather it out a bit with the uh, slope terrain. Maybe go a little bit less and turn the strength down. Oh yeah, there we go. That... Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the strength up. No, it's... Yeah, this... This is one of those things... And this is... So this is something I, I, I've struggled with with the videos. Do I... Do some of this stuff off camera? Do I just time lapse it? Do I just skip it? Um, and that's something that... You know, I think will be a common thing that I'm... I'm always trying to improve things and figure out the best way to show you guys. I want it to look really good. But at the same time, I don't want... Uh, 100 episodes of me <laughs> dabbling in minutia. I think maybe streaming is the way to, to handle some of this stuff. Like, I, I could be working on some of the builds I'm in right now. Fire. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, I've missed a couple. Uh, Laszlo, love your videos and all the insights and aspects and difficulties of real life city planning. Greetings from Hungary. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Planner Duck. Holy cow. Uh, thank you so much, Planner Duck. Thank, uh, hello from Southern California. Your, your tsunami didn't uh, take us out, so I get to watch your stream. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that tsunami. Um, how bad? I mean, I want to know how bad that was. I want to hear more about that. Keep having fun and thanks for the great content. Also, enjoying an, uh, a nice night in the golden of Golden Cider, uh, Golden State Cider. Very nice. You know, I thought about grabbing a cider. I had I had some as well, but Let's see, do I have any uh Top the Tater over there in Wisconsin? No, I don't I, I didn't I've never had that. And yes, uh yeah, thank you so much, uh Planner Duck. That's 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 amazing. That's uh, uh really uh, uh, that means a lot to me. Uh fire, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, uh, the volcano. I thought it was an earthquake. That 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 the all the volcano would do it too. Uh, Frank Frank, uh, if you are a city planner, you must hate Houston. Uh, you know they don't have zoning. I I was supposed to go to APA in Houston in 2020 uh, in in March. <laughs> I was actually really excited to see it, especially the beer can house. That was something that I uh, was. Really looking forward to seeing. I'm still gonna get there. Uh, it's not that I hate it. Uh, it's it's unconventional. <laughs> uh, Caleb, I'm your favorite. Uh, don't tell Biffa. I won't. It's 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 a secret between you, me, and roughly 1,116 other people. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Hello from Minnesota. Hello, Cody. And I, uh, if you're a Vikings fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you're enjoying some top of the tater too. Now I, I feel like I'm missing out. I've got to, I got to figure this out. Uh, tsunami rise was half a meter on the west coast. Some on the on the South Pacific Islands. Wow, yeah, that's that's still a lot. That's uh, Bethany. Hello from Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, we could use that slope. <laughs> yeah, forty percent is insane. Uh, hopefully you, you don't get many or you don't get much snow uh, in your area. Uh, good day from Australia. Uh, so, 14, so that's 2.37 p.m. local time. That's awesome. Uh, more watchtowers and fire helicopters needed. I think you're right. <laughs> Skull Vikes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someday. Someday it'll work. Hey, Phil, do I lift? Uh, I cycle. So, no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello from Brazil. Hello. Hello. Um, from Minnesota, hoping for a good coach. I, you know, no team deserves that much pain, even the Vikings. So, yes. <laughs> uh, hello, CB. So, hey. Hey, Juan from, uh, from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Good to see you here. Peyton, I definitely recognize you. Your first live stream. Thank you. And this is the, the smoothest that it's gone. So maybe maybe I should only stream in Bluffside Crossing. Josh Mickelson, thank you so much for your support. Uh, the reason I'm Team Verde Beach is because uh, 
Uh, let's see. Because I feel like it's detailed enough. Well, it doesn't just get lost in the weeds. Happy January from Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. And happy. Uh, hopefully you guys have uh, better weather than we have right now. I assume it's the same. <laughs> it's uh, very cold. It's very, very cold. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know if I can. So I didn't really know how to use the slope terrain tool when I made this path. So this, I'm going to try this. And if not, I'm going to upgrade it to one of the park paths all the way. That That's another thing that we could do. Oh, that is, that is making a huge difference. So I only know how to use the slope terrain tool because of you guys. So uh, thank you so much. It's, it needs some work. We need to flatten out the sides a bit, but that's really steep, but it's not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we I'll, I'll deal with really steep and, and not crazy I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and just try to tap on the edge there we go trying to get too close all right uh let's see some eagles fans hello from puerto rico hello oh and sprites in here i love clearwater county because it feels like a real place so that's one of the things about clearwater county and as one of the things i was really happy to see biffa do a uk build uh, i think building what you see or what you're familiar with can make for a really interesting build um, and so many times you'll see builders building things they're unfamiliar with and they're fun but i just think that you know it's 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 special when you build what you know uh, same thing with $2.20 uh, with Oceania. That is, I love that series. He's building what he knows and it's obvious. And it's it's just, the amount of detail is just, it's startling. It's it's really impressive. Would I ever consider doing a Manhattan style build with a bunch of towers on an island? I would, I would. And in fact, one of the, the mini builds I've thought about doing is, uh, I've been thinking about an island build um, and a small island, kind of inspired by the, by the, the, the 3060 competition. Uh, Noah is Team Clearwater County because of the snow. <laughs> uh, Draven, th thank you so much for the support, and thank you for the support, Vic. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. I'm, I'm having a good night. The kids are still asleep, which is helpful. That's been the one thing I've been wondering about as I'm in my corner of the basement. It's a soundproof room for the most part. I do have a monitor so I can hear them, uh, but... You know, if they if they go off, I'm gonna have to <laughs> put up the be right back banner. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fernando says 1,000 likes minimum. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't. I don't. I actually don't know what we're at with that. Uh, 340. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. So, um, I want to do a little bit more right here to try to that that transition is really rough. So let's see what we can do. It's a little better. It's a little better. Uh, it'd be really cool to build an island nation. Yeah, I, that's something I would like to do, Randy. That, that would be really neat. Eagles. Lots of Eagles fans in here. <laughs> uh, Hellhound, how's my day going? It's been a good day. Um, it's been, you know, me hanging out with my kids. Um, we watched uh, a little bit of Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, what else? We watched the new Rugrats. Um, we have a, a Mario Kart Rainbow Road set, so we played with that for a while. Uh, played some Pokemon cards. Obviously, there's a theme going on here. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what, we, what we've been up to. Uh, Andrew, hey, are there any programs for rural planning? Uh, so, that's a good question. So, at UW-Stevens Point, where I went for undergrad, they had a center for the small city. Uh, which went into rural planning and you know, they had a natural resources program that had a planning major that was more rural focused So they exist out there, but I will be Completely upfront with you and say that a lot of the programs are very urban uh, in, in, in their focus um, You know, and I, I think that that's a bias that that Planners really need to think about because I, I know that you you know I can get into a room with a whole bunch of people that think the same way and they think differently than the public and that is not helpful. So, um, yeah, that rural focus is important. Uh, let's see. Go Texans. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, banana. Someday. Uh, let's see. Do I work with anyone with public health degrees? Uh, indirectly. 
I, I'm trying to think actually. Now that I think back to grad school, there were people with degrees all over the like just all over the board. So if you're ever considering a grad program and you you start out as like an art major, yeah, like, don't worry about it. That totally happens. So I wouldn't I wouldn't look at that and say um, that's a problem. One of the one person I know that did have a public health background actually ended up going into park planning. Uh, which, you know, kind of fits, um, you know, parks, public health, but I, I don't think it's the connection that you're probably thinking of. So, um, as far as working with public health, like, yeah, as planners, we certainly do. That's the interesting thing about being a planner is you just get to work with everyone in, in municipal government. So, uh, that's one of the things I really appreciate about it. It's how I, you know, I've, I've gotten to know firefighters and, you know, police officers and, you know, folks that I don't really see outside of the professional environment. Uh, so I appreciate that. It gives you a different perspective on the world. So, uh, Steve Sole. Sole, uh, thank you so much uh, for, the, for, the, for the support. Hey, Phil, I just want to say that I stumbled upon your content a while back and decided to go back to school and pursue a career in city planning after hearing you talk about city planning. Thanks for the content. <laughs> and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Go pack, go. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you're going to, to the uh, Twin City. That's a great program. Um, one of the folks I, I went to, uh, to undergrad with went there and had a... Uh, ooh, whoops. Has had an... Oh, undo it worked. I, mean, I must have it. It's had a... Uh, Wisconsin not having a, a wonderful planning career in Minnesota. Uh, I, you know, there was a while where I considered going to Minnesota and moving to the Twin Cities because the planning culture in Minnesota is just so progressive. It makes sense. Uh, you know, it's the polar opposite of Wisconsin in terms of its urban makeup. You know, in Wisconsin, we have, you know, Madison's not a big city. It's the, the metro area is like 600,000. Uh, it's dense where it's dense, uh, but we have a height restriction. Uh, Minnesota everyone lives in one place and then there's like a couple small towns we have a bunch of moderate sized communities so it's it's just a different different makeup uh, actually mediocre overclocking <laughs> have i ever played magic i have not i have not i i was i was i was a pokemon guy <laughs> uh go chiefs i know <laughs> that's going to be a, a tough one for me cuz i think that's going to be packers and chiefs in the super bowl uh, um, Hurricanes fan. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah, there's more I could do to fix this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. We're gonna, we're gonna go through and just try to slope this all the way down. I don't know if this is gonna work again. It probably would have been helpful to just use that. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what just happened there, but that was terrible. Let's, and that the unfortunate thing is I can't even use the network multi-tool on this. I'm pretty sure anyway. Oh, it's going uphill here. So we've got to get the low point and slope in two different directions to make this work. So not the most, I was not the most sophisticated at using the tools <laughs> when I started this. So I should start over here, slope here and see if we can get this to, to raise in this direction. Oh, and that's really steep let's go back even further there we go it's a little better uh the the way to really fix this is whoa is to actually remove a line of zoning that'll probably do the trick so we'll evict some people use some eminent domain and uh get this to, to develop i mean it already looks a ton better just by doing that uh here Probably do the exact same thing. I just take out this row of housing <laughs> for a bike path. There we go. Uh, straight slope works. Works in straight lines, not corners. Yeah, Bluffside Crossing. This is the first series you watched all the way through. Got you hooked. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this was an interesting series for me. I didn't think anyone was ever going to watch this, so I was just building on a map that I liked and. Uh, having some fun with it so let's see I'm able to ah seems like the more I do the worse it gets so I just need to, to leave it and hopefully these buildings don't completely I mean that's that's not good 
<laughs> the only way I could really fix it uh, in, a, in a really complete way would be to remove more of these these buildings here or upgrade to like a, a park life path. But now uh, it, it's for bicycles and that's what I wanted. And I think there's, this is actually a multi-use path. <laughs> I guess there's like an ET moment there too. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, the height of realism it is. <laughs> It's it's like BMX biking on a on a multi-use path. It's perfect. And we can we can we can take a look and enjoy this. See, it doesn't feel as bad when you're when you're actually it feels worse. <laughs> it is terrible. So if I really wanted this to be absolutely perfect, I would go through and probably just ad admit defeat that this is not gonna work right and throw in a park path. And this would clearly just fix everything. But it's just so boring. I, I, I should really look to see if there are any uh, self-leveling multi-use paths. Call a mulligan. <laughs> yeah. uh, Phil, I don't know if you shared this, but you and Skads of our friends got you through COVID quarantine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I appreciate that. You guys got me through COVID quarantine. Uh, you know, that to me... You know, it was, a, it was a tough time. I mean, I think it was a tough time for everyone universally in the world. I think it's there are very few things that I think the entire world can unite behind. But quarantine, just the, the mental toll it took on everyone and it is currently taking on some people, um, you know, and myself, you know, I definitely haven't been leaving the house as much lately. Um, let's see, Josh, thank you so much for the support. I wonder how much Phil, how much... Phil has spent on eminent domain between all these series. Uh, you know, if if someone puts together an eminent domain uh, supercut, it's going on the channel. <laughs> so uh, that's that's like uh, you know, uh, every time I see a Larry Skylines video, I, I just love those. So uh, half the time, I, I've, I've got to I've got to put a community post up there. So this is gonna bug me because I hate those little angles there. This isn't gonna be perfect, but it could be it could be good. Let's see what I can do to. Uh, oh, there we go. Now the height's a little bit off, but you know we're making we're making progress. And this I could actually use node controller on, so that is exciting as well. Uh, so let's see. Also, the cyclists have cabs of steel. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Josh, they do. <laughs> Is Biffa using a, a self-leveling multi-use path? Maybe. Uh, PB and J path. <laughs> uh, Noah asks how often I stream. Once every three months. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, at this point, I'm running, I think, 25% of the time my computer uh, explodes. 25% uh, of the time, there's no audio, like no music in the background. And, uh, n you know, now 50% of the time we're okay. <laughs> so, uh, I've been telling myself that I will do it more when I can get through a stream successfully without having issues. And it, I'm feeling like this is, this is the one that is, uh, you know, making me feel better about this. <laughs> I hold alt. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That is, that is very nice. Good tip. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. Nice and smooth. Uh, not a multi-use path. And I guess if you want to walk for miles and miles and miles on this, you could. <laughs> so, uh, Andrew, good night. Good night. Thank you for coming here. Uh, let's see. What's my opinion of the real Venus project? I'm not, I'm not aware of that project. Uh, what's my favorite flower? Uh, I, you know, I have, I have irises and roses that I planted in my yard. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're well into your thirties. Me too. <laughs> Shane. Yep. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. It's still early. Phil, don't count your chickens. <laughs> yes, Carmen. I know. I know. There's, there's more that can happen. When I saw that fire in the background, I thought that that was... Uh, the sign of things to come. I did. So when I turned disasters on in this, it was at 50%. And 
And as as exciting as that was going to be, <laughs> I, I wasn't I wasn't sure about that. Uh, you know, and, and in terms of temps, I'm still good at my temps, so my computer's probably going to be fine. Uh, maybe this is a bit personal, but other jobs as a city planner, common and rela uh, reliable. I've been trying to get into business, but don't know if it's comfortable. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, every city of a certain size has a planner. Um, and then if you're not, if it's, if it's not of a certain size, they, they can, they contract out and consult out. I mean, every community needs planning, um, once you get to a certain size. So, you know, I'm not going to lie to you and say that there's a million jobs out there as planners, but there are jobs. If you do, uh, get an internship and you, you work hard at it, is it a comfortable job? I mean, it depends on your level of comfort. I mean, I go and I get yelled at sometimes by, <laughs> by groups of citizens and elected officials. Uh, but, you know, that's part of the job. Uh, Nick, thank you so much for the support. Your buttery voice keeps my dog's company every time I leave the house and I owe you $10 for that. <laughs> thank you so much, Nick. <laughs> uh, let's see, Riley, you've been designing a home for, with a, uh, for a construction company. Cool. Let's see. So I now that we have this a little more worked out, I kind of want to see how this feels now. Let's see if we can catch a tram on the way, on the way down, and I'll, I'll pay more attention to chat again. Let's see. Is this going the right? Yeah. This is no. That's that is that is not the right vehicle. Right here. All right, there we go. Let's pop in here again. And I wanted to get, I'll, I'll speed past for a second. And uh, let's get to the, let's get to the good stuff. That's, that's a pretty hard slope. <laughs> let's see. Um, is civil engineering a dying job? Absolutely not. <laughs> as, as long as there are places, there will be civil engineers. Uh, I work with a ton of them. Uh, how do we deal with urban sprawl? That is a million dollar question that if I had an answer to it, um, yeah, I think it would do a lot. I mean, the problem is people, a certain subset of the population just likes living in a sprawling environment. Um, I think that the, the way to handle it, you know, some communities like Portland or Boulder, they've, they've set an urban growth boundary and they've drawn a line and said, we do not sprawl past this and they don't work. Um, they, what, they have two consequences. Uh, you see prices of exi the, the existing housing stock go through the roof, and uh, you see sprawl just on the outside. So in the in in Boulder, for instance, you have Broomfield and uh, you know Westminster that are just sprawling on the opposite side, and people are commuting back and forth. And then you try to fix your land use problem with transit, and that doesn't work either. So it's just kind of a mess. Um, the way to do it is really to to it's really going to be a paradigm shift in terms of the way people think about where they live and where they work. And I think that the trend towards working from home could, I'm not sure what that does to sprawl. It could make it even worse. Uh, so no, that's not even the most uplifting answer I know. Um, Shaden McCurdy, uh, could you pull any inspirations for the mine quarry from around Clearwater County? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I, so I actually watched a few YouTube videos on mine quarry design, and I've been looking at them, and I, the next build is going to be uh, getting at the five stars, and I want to see if I can find any replacement assets so so that I can make it more realistic, and I'd love to, to pull some quarries in and kind of show uh, uh, the inspiration behind that one. So. So William says densification is the answer. I agree, but not everyone. I mean, you also have to change people's attitudes and perceptions, and that's not that's not an easy easy thing. Uh, Joshua talks about the California law that yeah the, the multi uh, basically got rid of single family zoning. I think that's a big piece of the puzzle. Minnesota just did that too in the Twin Cities, and now you can build at least a duplex. Uh, so I think that that is one way to do it. And it certainly would go a long ways. That's so accessory dwelling units, granny flats, ADUs, those are all like very controversial things in most places. But as prices of housing just go through the roof, uh, we're 
the acceptance is growing. Uh, my big curiosity, right now you have kind of the confluence of two of the biggest generations uh, in history trying to move into housing at the same time. And I'm very curious, um, you know, is there going to be a point, you know, where there's a drop off in that as as things switch, you know, uh, in terms of the, the largest generation? So we'll, we'll see. I mean, that's that's the one thing. It, it, even looking at housing trends recently, over the last two years, uh, the biggest group buying new homes wasn't first time home buyers. It was actually baby boomers and uh, elderly people downsizing to, to different homes, competing for some of those starter homes. So when that trend stops, I wonder what's going to happen if that will stop some of the sprawl. Because at this point, a lot of new homes are being built on the periphery because it's cheaper. And, uh, you know, there's such a housing shortage. Uh, and, you know, when people are looking for lower density housing, that's going to be their option unless they can get into the into the urban core, which they can't do if, you know, people are aging in place or they're taking and, and putting all cash offers in on homes. So, yeah, it's, it's a little uh, diving into a little bit of personal finance, too, I guess. I don't know. So uh, let's see. Planner Doc, do you have a question about California housing law? I can help answer that. Thank you. I would I would appreciate that. I uh, my my California experience uh, goes. I, t I took a class on CEQA when I was in California. <laughs> Let's see. Whoa, that hill. Yeah, we've got we've got a number of them. These aren't. Th this is no good. It's no good. Uh, so I believe right now we are up in Hillcrest, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! This is the airport. I was glancing at chat, so uh, yeah, by the airport, this is this is this is tough too. I I, I would not want to be that uh, the uh, the light rail operator right here. Let's see. We've been building lots of three story apartments and condos in I, I assume Vegas uh, for uh, EJS Vegas. Slow down because developers can't. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the thing. Uh, West of, I want to say it's Denver and West. Just because you buy land doesn't mean you have water rights. Um, so that's 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 a real problem out west. Here, if you find water on your property, you know in the Midwest, it's yours. Same out east. It's just a, a different way of, of looking at water rights. Yeah, look at those hills. <laughs> Shane, your girlfriend loves loves my, my laugh and voice, otherwise you wouldn't be able to play that much City Skylines. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, great. Uh, do I disable vehicular manslaughter? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing I'm really curious about, how... Let, let's look at our, 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 you know, we'll look at... So, 76% for traffic flow here. I'm wondering where it's the worst. Is there, are there any places that we could improve? So this is bad. This has always been a problem. And then, whoa. Yeah, this this series of builds. This was just a bad build. <laughs> I'll just be, uh, I'll be uh, completely upfront about that. This is, uh, wow. <laughs> so what is going on here? Let's try to diagnose. Everyone's taking a right. We have a one way, so we're funneling all of the traffic around. Let's. Yes, we have this funnel. There might be, this is terrible. Uh, and I would never advise in your own builds that you build something like this. This might help a more sweeping turn. And then I wonder if we go through, there's not a good way to fix this without blowing it up. Let's go through. Oh, <laughs> we're dropping a lane. That, yeah. Let's see. Let's fix that. If we're gonna cheese the game, let's let's actually cheese it. So we'll add in a lane here and force a right-hand turn. We'll see if this if this fixes anything. I don't think it's going to. So, oh, I thought that I had three lanes there. What is going on? Let's, 
Oh, I only have it there. Interesting. That is terrible. <laughs> so I was trying to create a turning lane there, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, let me actually get into the right tool. We'll come in here. There. I don't know if that's going to fix much of anything, but it, it, it'll probably be a little bit better. And then if I come in here and I do this, so that movement just proceeds straight through. Uh, truthfully, though, this is an arterial with lots of access. So that's just, it's terrible. Land mathematics, 3 minus 1 plus... One equal, yeah. <laughs> uh, can I disable the lines of trams on the road? I could, but this isn't. Uh, this is nothing to do with that. This is just a uh, poor design and lots of funneling. This is the shortest route from somewhere. And I'm curious where all of this traffic is coming from. Ah, basically everywhere in town. They're not taking the highway. They're taking this. Oh, another way. Uh, just out of curiosity. Let's look at the speeds. So, yeah, 60. 25 to 60. What if we drop this down? I don't know if the game's going to be sophisticated enough to change this. And unfortunately, we raise the speeds here. We'll drop them down again. And I'm very curious. Does this actually change anything? So we've made this whole route slower, except right here. Now it's way faster. <laughs> so... We'll need to, to fix that. I'll throw in a road for a second just to break this up. And then we'll pop in here, lower the speed to 25. Then I'll get rid of that. So this might make this a less attractive route because this traffic, if it were on the highway, wouldn't be struggling this much. But you can see that the highway is completely empty. <laughs> the fire. Uh, good luck. Whoa, Nelly. Yes. Uh, slow the speeds. Yeah. The game is sophisticated enough. Hopefully, hopefully with time, if we speed this up, yeah, it's at the top. Might be able to see it. We're at 79 now. So things are improving a bit. You see that it looks lighter back here now. Yeah, I wish that adding a toll did more than just add traffic as well. Because I feel like if you add a toll there, it should dissuade people. I mean, you can even navigate using a GPS, not using a toll. So it feels like that should be a, a thing in the game as well. Uh, let's see. I think it was more. Block heavy traffic. That is another idea. That actually, I really like that idea. So in Kent Square... Let's look at our policies. So I am experimenting with a couple of other mods too. I don't know what, I don't know how to get rid of the internal limits there, but uh, there they are. And a couple of things, ah. weird, some weird UI things going on. Let's see if I can get around it. Um, city planning, we will. Where is that? There it is. And that actually makes a ton of sense. That there would be some sort of weight restriction here or something to ban the heavy traffic going down this road. Uh, thank you so much, Chemtrails, uh, for becoming an associate planner. Yeah, trucks would use the highway for sure. Uh, that this, the, the, this, this route would not be at all attractive to them. So... I, I like this. That's a good solution. So this should clear up once we get those through. Uh, Sandy P, thanks for becoming an associate planner. For the two of you, just note, look at the community posts. There is going to be, or there's always a link to early release videos. I don't get them out super early, <laughs> but, but they're out a little bit early and uh, they're ad free. So be sure to check that out. Uh, also, my, my save files are, are out there as well. Uh, part of you wants to see gondolas crossing the valley. Uh, we could take a gondola ride. And, you know, it's interesting. I thought this was going to do a little bit more. Are we still seeing freight vehicles? I'm not sure. <laughs> Unlimited donut trucks and freight cars. Apparently, uh, Car carrying vehicles. Yeah, heavy traffic ban. I have that. 
Delete the bridge. Leave both roads as a cul-de-sac. Yeah, that that might. I mean, that would be enough to. Well, I don't know if it would actually change the pathfinding. Uh, Steven, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Thank you so much. So uh, both the Patreon and YouTube members uh, at at the at the base level have the same perks. It's a little bit. The notifications are better on Patreon, though. I, I will I will say that. But on YouTube, you get stickers. So I guess pick your pick your poison. Uh, TMPE, Alex, thank you so much for the support and for becoming an associate planner. Whoa, <laughs> we're getting a bunch of them. Uh, Yupin, thank you for becoming a, an associate planner. Uh, yeah, this would be a miserable street to live on. <laughs> you you have this water access right here, and then you have all these freight vehicles. Noah, going on six years civil engineering, working for the Department of Defense. Uh, to law school next year. Do you currently work with any lawyers? I do. Uh, so it, 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 they're 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 always they look at things from a different perspective than I do. So it's always it's always fun to work with them. So good luck. Uh, would love to work near civil engineering. Yeah, planning law, uh, municipal law. I think that if you go that route, you'll get to you'll get to work uh, with civil civil engineers. Uh, and. I cannot pronounce that. It's a picture of a panda. <laughs> Thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, can I use TMP? Uh, I could. The problem is, uh, we, we, we gotta look at our zoning. I'm curious, yeah. I put this commercial node right here. Hindsight being 2020, I was thinking, you know, gas stations or, or whatnot. I don't know that I would build this here again. Um, if I were to put the vehicle restrictions on, now we have a cul-de-sac coming down here, basically. Is the highway entrance broken? I don't think so, but we could take a look. Let's see. Oh, that slope is broken. <laughs> now it seems like it's... Oh, wait, what about right here? I don't see anyone going straight. Yeah, they're all moving over. I think he might have figured it out. Something's broken here. Ah, let's see. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Completely dead right here. So what is going on right here that is so broken? I do not know. I will take a look at the nodes. Wondered if I get rid of this node here, if that fixes it. Maybe we'll look at hop in here and see if I have any I don't know what do you, would you guys have any ideas to fix my triangle and cars do a u-turn huh and I don't, this shouldn't have any impact me connecting the lanes here oh that that was one vehicle that went through one. <laughs> it's for my own benefit. Actually. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, huh. You see, they're even coming all the way over. It's swapping over. Uh, let's see if there are any road segments in the wrong direction. What's going on right here? Uh, let's see. Weird segment to the left. Uh, Donald, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, let's see. Having a great evening. Blast in the past it is. Rebuild. That might be the best approach. Let's just do that. I'm going to just rebuild this segment and we'll see if that fixes things. I remember doing some things here and I'm curious if I broke it. And when I say doing some things, I mean messing with nodes. That's always dangerous. Ah, that is not good. So let's, I'll go straight here, mirror this. And then I'll use the curved road tool to make the connection. And we'll just go straight here. And of course, because it's a highway, it won't let me do a straight line. 
What is going on? Oh, 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 oh. right here. That'll do it, the, the trick. And then I'll just up, upgrade it. And then we'll clean that up there. I am not sure that that fixes it. I'm wondering if it's this little spot right here. Uh, it's always easy to tell by popping in here. Yeah, that didn't do it. Oh, that is terrible. Uh, next up. Maybe it's here. So we'll just keep deleting back. And, you know, this... This could be it, too. Let's see what I did here. Not sure why I decided to, to put a lane marking there and nowhere else, but I did. All right. Yeah, nothing. Oh, they faked me out. They faked me out. Uh, turn off road bending. Yeah, I got, I've got that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's a problem at the tunnel. Maybe. Thing is, they'd still be going into this neighborhood. So I'm curious. Let's see what that does. Are they going to just not go through? No, it worked. So it's at this junction. There's something wrong. I think. Because now they're using it. Even if they're not using it how I want. They're still able to progress down there. Uh, thank you so much for the support, concept, uh, Conceptrix. Conceptronix. <laughs> uh, make a theme out of just one asset. Yeah. Uh, hello, City Planner. How am I doing? Shadow, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, the game is buggy. Yeah, it, you know, they're, especially the more you mod, the, the buggier it gets. Uh, and some of it's just kind of trying to figure out how to work out what you've done to the game. <laughs> and in my case, figure out what I was thinking a year ago. So let's try to clean this up a bit. That was pretty ugly. So there we go. And then I'm going to upgrade this and reverse it. I'm gonna actually upgrade. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't. I, I I'm getting I'm getting too far ahead now of myself, and I'm making things worse. This was a big bridge that I shouldn't have had as a big bridge, but it was. So I'll I'll, I'll leave it. This looks worse than before, but I'm wondering if I'll just get it working. Let's see. Lower that down. Uh, try slowing the speed limit on that local road so the pathfinding will favor the highway. I did that over here. <laughs> and even with that ban, it's still really terrible. Uh, perhaps the route the trucks are currently taking is still shorter than the highway. It could be. Um, looking at... The hey! That's one vehicle that went through. Where are they going? Not here. The other thing to look at, maybe the speed's here. Yeah, they're 65. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not... I Yeah, that's that's a tough one. I think short of just cutting this off and sending it a different direction, which certainly we could do. And I wonder, what, is that, what, what does this do to the city? These are the kinds of things that, like, as a planner, I'd, lo <laughs> I'd love to do. Because we talk about, you know, like, relieving traffic in certain areas. And we'll, we'll try experiments uh, where we put cones out to to you know, just see a real-life example of how a bike lane would work somewhere. Or how having, you know, two lanes instead of four would work on a road. And, you know, we get calls right away. <laughs> Increase the speed on the highway. I could. I'm wondering, I think this might do the trick. We'll see, though. Got some things that burnt down. We'll take care of that. Uh, can they get off the highway? They can. It's not good. This is a terrible, this whole design. Honestly, uh, I'd love to fix this by just deleting the whole neighborhood, but... <laughs> uh, what about the entrance to the district? That is something that we could do. So we got to even have this stub there. I wonder, let's just make this really conventional. Just 
pop this down. We'll make a very conventional. Let's let's redo this. I'm 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 over trying to fix madness. <laughs> I did this and it was not good. So I will uh let's let's just do something about it. So I'll come through here, I'll add a four lane road. And then let's We'll continue the highway. We'll just do a really basic ramp here, and I want to see how that works. So just something really simple and quick, dirty. Let's see, pop this up, go up 12. And then send that back down. Good enough. It's not going to be the most beautiful ramp in the world. But it'll do the trick, and then we need a way to use it. So we'll pop right here. And I'm actually going to use my dirt roads easier to work with. And then we'll send this down. So let's pop this in here. And then once I get this done, I'm going to pop back in the chat again. And I'm going to send it. Whoops. Pop this up a little bit. And I think I might move all of this over just... Actually, we'll move this one. I want it to look... Even though this, you know... Does, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to make it look a little bit better. And then we'll make a quick turn in here. Real simple ramp. Nothing, nothing special about this. But it will do the trick for us. I'll steal this and then just upgrade this. And I'm not sure what you guys are saying right now, but I will know in just a second. Uh, let's see. Fixed. Fixed. We should be good to go. Uh, except for those traffic lights up here. That is a problem. There we go. So maybe this helps. <laughs> Total gridlock. <laughs> uh, let's see. See if you build, <laughs> you build it and take it away. Yes. Uh, DDI for life. Yeah, that, that would be a solution potentially. I think this whole neighborhood is just... There's too many one ways and the streets are too close. The hierarchy is broken. And it, especially in an, in, a, in an industrial area, it's really important. I remember building this and feeling very lost. It was, uh, uh, the channel started kind of getting some traction <laughs> and I, uh, I remember feeling like, oh my goodness, like I have a, I have a little bit of pressure now. <laughs> so I'm going to just reestablish a grid through here, give people options and just see what that does. Because the, so the distances between some of these roads are just crazy. Uh, so the throat length way too short, and what that was gonna, what that's gonna do is cause backups. Now this is a mess right now, but I think it will get better as I get rid of all of these one ways, give people some options to get around. And I wonder if these one ways are part of the reason that people are deciding to go from this little highway here. It looks like all that traffic is gone. I don't know why, <laughs> but it is if that policy finally kicked in. And I'm going to pop a couple more things in here. And I also want to look at the junctions. There we go. These probably justify a signal, but we'll just go without it. Boy. Yeah, we just moved our traffic. All right. Let me see. I'm going to pop in the chat for a minute. Redevelop. Yes. Laugh out loud. They're all confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Meteor. That is a solution. I am. You know what? I'm going for it. <laughs> and there's the budget menu because that's what I do. I've had enough of this neighborhood. We are going to take it out.
There we go. <laughs> so let's see. The bridge is disconnected. Yeah, so that that is one of the things. It's just it's just a bad area for an industrial area. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's it's really far away. It requires lots of driving. Even with the trains, I built all of this train stuff, trying to get this area to work. And everyone knows how great I am at trains. Oh wow. Ooh, ooh, this road. Oh, that is that is ugly. Not as ugly as the meteor is going to be over here. Uh, DJ, thank you so much for uh, for uh, being an associate planner. Leaving a message for the for Mars. <laughs> you know, the Seahawks might be better than the Cardinals. Yeah, the industrial does produce too much traffic for this area. <laughs> a generous god, but a cruel god. <laughs> Uh, yes, Meteor. When is it going to... Oh, there we go. It's an 8. Can we get this? I I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Here we go. Oh. And I got an achievement. <laughs> oh. That feels good. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic is gone, Riley. It's it's solved. So there was a way to fix it. And uh <laughs> Yes, the disaster rate in the streams is very, very high at this point. There we go. I'm just gonna ignore this area at this point. <laughs> we'll go on to the next. That is the freedom I have streaming in an old city. <laughs> And look at the beautiful view we have now. I feel like we need to look at this at night. Oh, there we go. The glowing of our meteor hit. <laughs> Josh, thank you so much for the support. Leaving a message for the Eagles fans. Things could be worse. At least you're not Miami. <laughs> Why did they fire their coach? I just, I don't get that. <laughs> Uh, National Memorial Park now, yeah. So they have water pot problems, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I should dezone it or it will regenerate. I don't want that. I'm over this area. Everyone's still backed up, waiting, wondering. The looky lose. Oh. I'll help you out. There you go, donut truck. Everyone can leave. Yeah, they're just going to despawn right there. <laughs> Time to build Crater Lake. Donald, I'm a silence for all lost sims. Yes. <laughs> and interestingly, the population is now 80,000. So I think we've gained like 4,000 during the stream. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, I wonder. Let's, let's go ahead. And now my, my two favorite mechanics in the game are water and fire. <laughs> and of course, that's in the wrong spot. Let's see. We'll just. All right, I'll just walk away from the water. I think we're good. <laughs> it's a good place for the new airport. Truthfully, we never filled in this area th over here. Uh, this bluffside crossing out of all the builds is probably uh, best for a new airport. It's best set up. I mean, look at the amount of space available right here. What's happening, <laughs> Pooch? <laughs> What's happening is, is this. We have a new crater leg. It's beautiful. So this could be a new park area. <laughs> Pull, turn the background music down a little bit. Sure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Kyle, love all your videos. Just graduated, took an urban planning course last semester. One of the most intriguing classes I've ever taken. Your content is both educational and entertaining. Thank you so much. Uh, this is not educational or entertaining. Or I hope it's entertaining, but not educational. But there you go. This song again. 
We're gonna we're gonna no. We're not doing it again. And we're not doing that either. Uh, maybe it's fitting. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll skip this. So there we go. And I I was curious about whether or not we have uh we have helicopters, and I guess we do. So that's great. I don't know where they're coming from, but uh, but we have them. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up, and I might. I don't know what I'm doing with the save. I'll probably put it on Steam, so if you guys want to just look at it, uh, it's cleaned up, It's it's got a contemporary mod set, and now it doesn't have this terrible industrial park, so I think the build's just overall better. Uh, and if you want to if you want to mess around with it, I'll, as soon as the stream is done, I'll put it up right away. <laughs> is Clearwater County ready for tsunami? Clearwater County is going to be an absolute mess <laughs> if we get a tsunami there. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. We don't have any disaster response units. So. <laughs> the background music was nice. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, people often think about city planning as being a job of designing shelters for meteors. However, I can see it's truly... Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're calling in the meteors. That's what we do. I can't get rid of that. There's lots of, lots of stuff here. It's just like... Not letting me easily get rid of. So better bulldozer is one mod. Oh, you know what? You know what? There's an easy way to get rid of this. Let's pop through here. I should make sure I'm not getting rid of trees, though. Just buildings and nodes. That should fix everything up. And gone. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, I like this. I like this so much more already. There we go. And I'm wondering how bad did I? Let's see. I still have this limits thing up here. I have no idea what that is or why I have it in the build, but it is there and it's causing me issues. There we go. Um, yeah, high school availability is our only problem. <laughs> no traffic over here anymore. And I think that now, as we're putting down traffic issues, we should see what that did for us. Let's see. Look at that. 81%. <laughs> All we had to do was eliminate this area. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Sherry. Thanks for popping in. Uh, I made the chat just once. What in the world? Uh, I've, I've cleaned up traffic in this area. <laughs> so uh now we're now we're good here and i don't think that we have a disaster response unit here so i can't fix this so i'm gonna probably pop one in let's just send this around and we'll connect this up all right so because i didn't have natural disasters in this build let's see that's in here let's see yeah it's under fire Disaster response unit. I'll fix that ramp in a second. There's not really any space downtown. <laughs> oh my goodness. The whole city is burning down. Josh, thank you so much uh, again for the support. Gonna have to call a night. Take care. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the next stream in, stream in Junis. I'll try to do it once sooner. <laughs> you know, I've, I've, uh, Timberborn is one that I've, I've wanted to have a stream for or a video. I'm definitely going to have a video for Timberborn this week. Uh, one of the things holding me back was actually uh, that when my computer melted down, I decided to reformat and install Windows, uh, reinstall Windows, and I lost my mod for Timberborn that allowed me to generate the beaver names. Not the save. I still have the saves. Um, so I just got that reinstalled. I pulled down all the patron names, all the YouTube members, and the top 200 Discord members. And those are now going to be pulled into Timberborn. So I'm really excited to get back to it. There's been a really big uh, update to the game too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'd love to, to stream that as well. There's no good place for this here. I think that we're just going to... We just need to pop this somewhere. And I don't want to put this directly on this arterial. It's not going to generate lots of traffic. But I'm going to place it here. 
and then I'll I'll place uh, just go here, put a local road, and then turn that building around, and then try to fix the terrain because that's the height of realism and reality, and that's what we're up to. <laughs> and it hates this. There we go. Look at how ugly that is. It's okay. We will uh, do a little bit to fix it. Look at that. That is that is the beauty of mods right there. Ooh, that is just rough. Oh, that is terrible. I thought that I, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. It's like the, the building was folded in half like a sandwich or something. There we go. And then we'll have a terrible slope here and just pull this up. Roads all the way through the roads. Or the trees right through the roads. Let's see, I'll pull this back just a bit. There we go. And because I have to, I'm gonna not drop a meteor here. I will just try to clean this up. This is this is terrible. <laughs> we just need the building to work at this point. And then we'll get some water here and hopefully they'll well, send out a helicopter. There we go, and let's see. Sure, you like the timber one, because good, good. Uh, those fires just didn't leave you alone. No. Uh, building up the city as I speak. Hmm. Huh. This was not respecting the topography, but it was working. Oh, ugh, this is oh, this is terrible. Looking more. This is the uh, the critical eye. Oh, 20% dip. We'll pull that up. Now, I think, is that a car that just flew up at us? Here. Lots of steep slopes. <laughs> and I'm sure it's even worse if we come through here. Actually, it's not. It's not that bad. So, the main reason I wanted that is now I think I, I might be able to upgrade this road. Let's see if I can. Maybe I could do it before and I just didn't realize it. <laughs> That is, that is entirely possible. There we go. All right, let's see what we say. That was a camera angle, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pooch is in here. Let's see, two helicopters left already, good. Hopefully they're, they're fixing down here. Yeah, they are, perfect. So we've got some problems. I mean, this is one of the first parts of the build right here. Elskins Park, uh, which was named for a YouTube um, uh, YouTube commenter. <laughs> uh, that poor driver just got yeeted. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. That shutter, yeah. <laughs> uh, when I asked if this was the final goodbye to Bluffside yesterday, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, I'm, I'm, at this point, I just, uh, with streams, I'm not a streamer that can, can do a bunch of stuff while I'm talking. So maybe I'll get better at that as time goes on. I figure might as well, uh, oh yes, the bridge connection might as well, uh, have a little bit of fun while I'm doing this. Completely forgot about this. So thank you so much for the reminder. So there we go. Uh, is the crater going to be permanent? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going on Steam. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see your best designs for this crater lake. So, if you want to grab the save from Steam, and then, uh, th these are trains. It's a train route. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, but grab the save and show me your very best designs for the crater lake. Uh, control L to hide that panel that you've been complaining about. Ah! Oh, what is that panel? It's, uh, because the mod set is a little bit foreign to me. Crater Lake State Park or Crater Lake National Forest, yes. So I want to see your designs and then pop them in the Discord, um, and then tag me. Uh, Jake asks how I like living in Madison. It's a great city. Um... I mean, it, to, to, to be fair, some of the things I like the most about living here, I can't do right now, but um, 
you know, it's it's a it's a great city, and they, you know, it's it's a bit of urbanity in Wisconsin. So I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, this would be an awesome fishing spot. It, I think there's a lot that could be done here. What is this? Get rid of that. Lilac Hills, and they're coming back. And if we look at pollution, well, that's not helpful. <laughs> I wonder if this is touch it madness. I do not know what why the pollution looks like it's everywhere, but <laughs> uh, the panel is the limits of the, oh, extended manager's library. I did the add that in today. Banana, you are such a wealth of information about this, about the different mods. It's, it's really impressive. I would rebind and control shift L or something. Yeah. Discord link. We can do that. Uh, let's see if I can actually make it work this time. Discord.gd says city planner plays. Hey, that might work. That does work. That does work. Hostages in Texas released. I was not aware that there were hostages. Not enough craters. I mean, we could really, we could really take this out <laughs> in dramatic fashion. Now we've got traffic here and here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like 69% uh, <laughs> There we go I feel like uh, I should submit this to Biffa And say Biffa Not only is it heavily modded But it's incredibly broken <laughs> Why don't you take a look And the other thing is I'm not sure if the switch To uh, um, The new roads had any impact I don't know if my settings were all retained the other thing, I wonder if I just do some pretty basic stuff, like, let's make this a roundabout. Does that fix anything? Blow it up. Meteor. <laughs> I mean, we have to be able, we, 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 gotta, we gotta be creative about it. We can't just do meteors everywhere. <laughs> but let me see. Let me see. Uh, two minute delay from chat. Yeah, there is a delay. I, I'm curious. I have my I have my MacBook next to me. What do I see? Uh, I'm just gonna go back live. I want to see because yeah, I, I I haven't looked at this. It looks like it's pretty current with what I'm seeing. Maybe chat's a little a little further back. Let's see. Let's let's. I I, I wish I wish I could do a poll in here. Let me know what disaster should I do. I'm gonna go level ten. And we're going to take care of this traffic. <laughs> Jobo the Hobo. Uh, just recently started watching me and uh, influence the way you play City Skylines. I really enjoy the Clearwater County series and all the lore behind it. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Jobo. That that means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Tornado. That tsunami. <laughs> Meteors everywhere. Uh, you know what? I'll do one thing real quick. Before I just destroy everything. I'm gonna save this. I'll put it to Steam Cloud. Cloud. Uh, uh, bluff side. And you get a nice picture of the before. So that will be the version that I put on Steam after this. Tornado. I'm seeing lots of tornado. Oh, sinkholes. Tornado. Sinkhole. Giant sinkhole. We'll do. We'll do both. We can. We can really. Uh, we can have some fun with this. Let's. Let's do it. So. Giant sinkhole. You know what? I've hated this oil industry. Sinkhole there. We'll get a gigantic tornado right here. And we'll do a meteor right here. And then I'll just uh, enjoy the chat. <laughs> Is volcano? I think I wish. Meteor site crossing. Sinkhole tornado. We got them all. We're doing everything. <laughs> How do I feel? Oh. So I actually talked to my wife about the Djokovic decision in Australia. I don't I didn't I don't know if anything has happened since I guess 12 hours ago. But um with everything that's happened in Australia with the the length of lockdowns, I would understand any decision that they make. Uh let's see. Why are we destroying Bluffside? We saved. We're not totally destroying it. 
City Planner doesn't play. But we're waiting. It's going to happen. Uh, let's see. 70%. 70%. And I'm wondering. It was never this broken before. So either my mod set is just so much better now. <laughs> Get Country Roads on. <laughs> I, I, I'll change it. I'll, I wonder if there's anything more appropriate. Uh, I'm going to pop through again and... Let's see. I got one. There we go. City in Ruins. <laughs> All right. There we go. One. And two. <laughs> there we go. We're making some improvements. Getting rid of all of the high traffic areas. And this was one. And maybe this will fill up with water. And then we can have two Crater Lake Parks. With a view across it. <laughs> Might as well throw a tsunami. I uh, yeah. I <laughs> I wonder that would that would take out this road down here. <laughs> oh, let's see. Surgically strikes the city with natural disasters. Yeah, we're keeping downtown. Oh wait, it's not going towards downtown, is it? That was not my game plan. I guess tornado tornadoes don't care <laughs> what my game plan was. So it's taking out our little uh, German neighborhood. I think this is this is New Berlin, I believe. <laughs> uh, Tuber, thanks so much. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the the airport DLC video. I, I really enjoyed putting that together. A yeah, little Berlin, sorry. <laughs> uh, glass bridge between the crater parks. Yeah. <laughs> Was there a nuclear reactor explosion? No, but uh, that would be. <laughs> That would be uh, interesting. Uh, watch out, freeway, you're next. Yeah, we're going to solve all the traffic. <laughs> Let's get the tsunami. All right, I can do it. I can do it. Let's, uh, where should we hit the tsunami? Let's, uh... Let's see. I think it has to... Well, I don't know. <laughs> all right, I look at the neighborhood names. And let me know where the tsunami needs to hit. The traffic is now airborne. It is. Now we're good. What is my traffic at right now? 73. That's a slight improvement. <laughs> yes, bulldoze all. Problem solved. <laughs> Tornado is putting out the fires. We do have a rainstorm now, so that's good. All right, I'm just going to pick a couple of spots for tsunami. They take a long time anyway. So uh, let's see. I don't know how it would work in this map. Yeah, this is like the only spot, and that's a river coming in too. Let's do it. We'll just we'll see what that does. And then while we're at it, maybe uh some forest fires in the rain. There we go. Earthquake right in the middle of the city. That's, <laughs> that's how we end it. <laughs> that's how we'll go out. We'll go out with an earthquake. <laughs> Park Heights. Yeah, I don't need Biffa to fix the traffic here. I've got it. I've got this on lockdown. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're doing just fine. All right. So, I think that we have to finish it off. And there's only one appropriate way to finish it off, and that is by taking the Wisconsin State Capitol. And we'll have an earthquake. Fill the mine with water. Don't destroy the... <laughs> I think the fishing village is safe. <laughs> and uh, we'll see where we're at with traffic 70 getting a little worse and let's see this tornado it went right down the highway <laughs> and it's gone now so there we go and traffic I think that's why we have our, our traffic jam debris on the road <laughs> Uh, oh, we're getting, let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm actually seeing what you guys are seeing, and it is 15 seconds behind. 
Uh, I hope that this is backed up. It is backed up. It is backed up. I saved just before the crater. That is certainly the first one. That is, this was an improvement. This was a bad neighborhood. <laughs> so let's see. I'm curious. So we're going to end the stream, I think, after we get our earthquake. And I'm going to put this up on uh, Steam with... Uh, I'll put this up and I really want to see what you guys design in the crater lake. So please grab it and let me know what uh, Wisconsin deserves it. No, we don't. <laughs> but yes, I, I did uh, the earthquake. It's going to be a 10.0 earthquake at the Capitol. <laughs> Let's see. Will you use the Wisconsin State Capitol in Clearwater County? I'm probably not. I'll probably, I'll probably look for another one, and maybe I'll maybe I'll leave that uh, as a suggestion from the audience. Let's see. Is there an aircraft maintenance hangar depot? Ah, uh, there's a there's a hangar. Ah, uh, there's a small and a large. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for uh, for joining uh, and becoming an associate planner. Instead of fixing traffic, <laughs> see you all on Discord, and I will be on Discord as soon as we have an earthquake. Oh, there we go! Look at this. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a great way to relieve stress. <laughs> just take your city and just have it out on it. I don't think we need to do it. I see a crater to the gondola. We don't need to do that. The gondola is gone. <laughs> Any disaster response? There's one right here. If it makes it through the earthquake. Which it seems like it will. I'm going to use a just pathfinding on it. It'll work. <laughs> uh, like, share, subscribe, etc. I appreciate that, Sherry. I appreciate that. And I think that's it. That is... This is a surprisingly resilient city. Like, it just... Very... I'm very impressed. I thought that uh, this was going to take up more of downtown. I mean, we got a disconnected road, and clearly the capital just disappeared. Uh, street view as buildings collapse. Little, I'm late for that. But we can, uh, we can see that it wasn't that bad. It's just this one building, and that's about it. <laughs> I mean... This neighborhood is completely decimated, as is this. But, uh, and this, again, for the second time in the episode. But, it's okay, you could still live over here, this is just fine. Or, over here in Hillcrest. But I, I think, I think that we're gonna leave it here. I'm gonna pop in the chat a couple more times for a little bit longer, and then we'll just head over to Discord. Uh, but I've, I've had such a great time streaming, uh, I will I will do something a little more serious next time. <laughs> yeah, Ben, it did just sink right into the earth. <laughs> Might have to give it another shot. I feel I feel better about streaming after this. And that was one of the things I wanted to accomplish is to actually get a stream under my belt where things didn't completely blow up in my face. So I, I appreciate you all. What about the oh the tsunami? That's right. That is right. I can't leave. What am I talking about? There it is. <laughs> that is not where I wanted it to be. I wonder. Interesting. So because of the map, it's just not going to do much. Like that, that's if if this city were to get a tsunami, this is the spot to, to get it. <laughs> it's gonna. I guess this boat. Let's 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 see what they're gonna see. Oh, that's that's a terrible view. <laughs> let's uh pop out. They're about to have a bad time. But knowing the mechanics, yep, they'll just ride the wave straight up and then right back down. <laughs> yeah, it's a very it's a very slow tsunami. And uh, they made it just fine. They, these no stopping these guys. They're just completely fine. <laughs> not even a thought, not a not a slowdown, just keep cruising right up, ride the wave up. There we go. <laughs> and we got, we have to have one more final traffic check. 61. 
I'm guessing that's because of uh, this, uh, the slight problems we're having over here. But uh, I think we've done all right. Planner Duck, thank you so much. Uh, good night, love seeing all the destruction. It is needed every now and then, and uh, so much fun. I agree. <laughs> and I really appreciate all the support, Planner Duck. It means a lot. Uh, everything is fine. Everything is completely fine. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna leave it here, but I will hop on Discord for a few minutes. I'm gonna switch over to my Macs. So it's gonna be just a minute. And I'm gonna upload this to to uh, Steam. So give me about five or so minutes and I will be on Discord. But thank you so much everyone for joining. Uh, if you, uh, if you wanna watch any part of this that you missed, I will put this on YouTube so you can watch the beginning. Uh, if, you, if you want. So thank you again for the support. Thank you for joining me and I will see you on Discord. And uh, let's drop one more link into there. So that's discord.gg slash cityplannerplays. There we go. Got it. So I will be on Discord five minutes. And uh, we'll have a good time. I'll hop in general chat, chat and uh, we'll, have a, we'll have some fun. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.